السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو آر ڈیجیٹل ٹیوٹوریل فار پریپ تھری میتھمیٹکس وی ہیو چیپٹر نمبر الیون آف نیو سلیبس میتھمیٹکس ٹو ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن اباؤٹ ٹیکنومیٹری سو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ بیسک ڈیفینیشن آف ٹیکنومیٹری واٹ از ٹیکنومیٹری ٹیکنومیٹری از دی برانچ آف میتھمیٹکس وتھ ڈیل وتھ ٹرائنگل پرٹیکولرلی ٹرائنگل ان اے پلین where one angle of the triangle is of 90 degree. Technometry is derived from Greek words trigonon which means three angles and matron which means major. And you all know that triangle which have 90 degree angle is called right angle triangle. Here you can see right angle triangle clearly. Now we are going to work on right angle triangle. Now we are discussing the parts of a right angle triangle. As we discussed in the previous classes, the side opposite to the 90 degree angle is the longest side and known as hypotenuse. So in this figure, side AB is the hypotenuse. Now imagine that you are standing at angle A facing into the triangle. So side BC is just opposite to your face and you are standing next to the adjacent side AC. Hence, for angle A, side BC is the opposite side and side AC is the adjacent side. Now imagine that you move from angle A to angle B, still facing into the triangle. So side AC is just opposite to your face and you are standing next to the adjacent side BC. Hence for angle B, side AC is the opposite side and side BC is the adjacent side. As we discussed in the previous slide, for angle A, BC is the opposite side and AC is the adjacent side. And for angle B, AC is the opposite side and BC is the adjacent side. Now come to the topic Technometric Ratio. As we all know that ratio is the comparison of two same kind quantities. Consider this triangle ABC. Here we can use the length of the sides of right triangle to form ratios. So there are six different ratios that we can make. First, we can make opposite over hypotenuse and hypotenuse over opposite. Then we can make adjacent over hypotenuse and hypotenuse over adjacent. Then we can make opposite over adjacent and adjacent over opposite. Each of these six ratios has a name which refers to an angle. Consider angle A. For angle A, ratio opposite over hypotenuse is known as sine of angle A. And the ratio hypotenuse over opposite is known as the cosecant of angle A. We can also say that cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. Now, The ratio adjacent over hypotenuse is known as the cosine of angle A and the ratio hypotenuse over adjacent is known as the secant of angle A. So we can also say that secant is the reciprocal of cosine. The ratio opposite over adjacent is known as the tangent of angle A and the ratio adjacent over opposite is known as the cotangent of angle A. So we can also say that cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent. If the angle changes from A to B, the way the ratio are made is the same. For angle B, the ratio opposite over hypotenuse is known as sine of angle B and the ratio hypotenuse over opposite is known as the cosecant of angle B. In a similar way, the name of the ratios remains same. The ratios sine, cosine and tangents are the most common and basic ratios among these six. While cosecant, secant and cotangent are the reciprocal of sine, cosine and tangents respectively. Each of these ratios has an abbreviation. Now, easy way to remember sine, cosine and tangent ratios is to use so, ka and tua. For so, as sine is opposite over hypotenuse, s represent sine, o represent opposite and h represent hypotenuse. Similarly for ka, as cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, c represent cosine, a represent adjacent and h represent hypotenuse. And for tua, as tangent is opposite over adjacent, t represent tangent, 
O represent opposite and A represent adjacent. Let's take this example for the better understanding. We have triangle ABC where AB is the hypotenuse of 10 units and the other two sides BC and AC are of 6 and 8 units respectively. First we will find the sine, cosine and tangent ratios for angle A. For angle A, BC is the opposite side and AC is the adjacent side. So sine of angle A is the opposite over hypotenuse that is 6 over 10. After simplification it will become 3 over 5. Cosine of angle A is the adjacent over hypotenuse that is 8 over 10. After simplification it will become 4 over 5. Now we will find tangent of angle A and tangent of angle A is the adjacent over hypotenuse that is 6 over 8. After simplification it will become 3 over 4. Next we will find the sine, cosine and tangent ratios for angle B in a similar way. And for angle B, AC is the opposite side and BC is the adjacent side. Now take another example. In this example we have triangle ABC where AB is the hypotenuse of 10 units and the other two sides BC and AC are of 6 and 8 units respectively. First we will find the cosecant, secant and cotangent ratios for angle A. For angle A, BC is the opposite side and AC is the adjacent side. So cosecant of angle A is the hypotenuse over opposite that is 10 over 6. After simplification it will become 5 over 3. Then second of angle A is the hypotenuse over adjacent that is 10 over 8. After simplification it will become 5 over 4. Now we will find cotangent of angle A and cotangent of angle A is adjacent over opposite that is 8 over 6. After simplification it will become 4 over 3. Next, we will find the cosecant, secant and cotangent ratios for angle B in a similar way. And for angle B, AC is the opposite side and BC is the adjacent side. Now student, it's your turn to practice. Mention questions from your book D2. I hope you all understood the topic very well and will make most of it. Thank you.